Woo! 200 full episodes over three years of podcasting and not one week missed. And here I am today working remotely with two businesses that came from my podcasting hobby, which turned into a full time business. So let's all go back to where it all started. This is Debbie Arcangelis, and I am the creator of The Offbeat Life. And I just wanted to give you a little introduction to myself and why I wanted to start this podcast. I'm not here to tell you that I'm an expert and I have something that I love to do and make money and just do that and because that's not true at all. There's still a lot of things that I'm struggling with myself and that's why I wanted to start this, not just because I wanted to, you know, give you insights about myself and what I can give you, but also take into consideration and also take a lot of advice from people who have been there and done that as well. So you and I are going to be on this journey essentially together to kind of follow what we really want to do with our lives and find that purpose that we're all looking for. I wanted to get all of this knowledge and passion and beautiful people in front of all of you to give you and myself that push and nudge to say to ourselves, yes, we can do this. We can find what we really love to do and work hard at it and become somebody that we know who's going to be able to follow through and really do what they were meant to do. It is so surreal to listen to that first episode especially to that clip talking about my hopes and dreams to find a passion that can also become my business and to learn from the people that I have interviewed. Well, friends, I have manifested that scenario and now living the life that I really hope to live. Obviously, it's still not perfect, And I still have a lot of growth to do, but boy, am I going in the right direction. Now, if you're new here, welcome to the Offbeat Life family. (laughs) My hope is that you have found the stories we have shared from people who took the chance to live their dreams to be an inspiration to live your own. So make sure you listen to the past episodes that I have, and I have so many more to give to you. I just want to embrace you, give you a hug, and make known that we understand and we know what this journey is like and I've been there and it's not an easy one but having me and having other people who share your passions share your determination is going to make it a little bit easier and sweeter but if you have been here for a while with me I just want you to know that I appreciate you I love you. And I hope that this podcast has changed your life. It definitely has changed mine. If it has, I would really love to hear your stories and maybe interview you on the show because I love sharing everyone's story, everyone who is thinking about taking a leap of or has taken that leap, right? And I welcome you to share it with everyone as well. All right, so it's been three years and let me catch you up on the changes that has happened with my life and also the offbeat life's life. (laughs) So since I started, I, you know, well, let's even go back to that. I, I was very confused, you know, when I started this podcast And it was really an outlet for me because I didn't know what to do with myself. I started different businesses before, failed them, 
And I really needed to do something to get me out of that rut. Now, since starting my show, I've been able to leave my nine to five, turn it into a passion career, travel the world, get paid doing my podcast, make friends from my show, been featured as one of the top travel podcasts from different outlets, partnered with Fortune 500 companies, been on national television and have built two businesses that has allowed me to do what I absolutely love, which is to talk to incredible people, talk to all of you and really have that sense of freedom that I never had before. And we've also grown into another business with how to create a podcast.com that has allowed me to help others take their podcast from hobby to a profitable business like I have been able to. So I wanted to share that. And I'm super, super excited about this new business and to see how others can also use their show as a jumping off point to the life they truly want to live. Because believe me, podcasting, and I know I say this over and over again, has absolutely changed my life. Now this year, Aaron and I have also decided, this is breaking news everyone, (laughs) to finally take this journey further and move out of New York City. It's a new journey and an exciting one that we have actually talked about for a very, very long time and dreamed about doing for so long. We have a ton of ideas, plans, and so much more things that I can't wait to share with all of you. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to keep sharing that journey. You know, the struggles that we've had, really making sure that we are prepared to leave this life that we've always had here. So that's another hurdle that I really have to uh, take myself out of and to move forward with it. But I also want to send out a little reminder that this journey that I've had for the last three years, over three years, has not been easy. As I mentioned before, I started and failed three other businesses, had panic attacks, not even joking, every four months and been so miserable that it was physically painful. I failed so many times that I've lost count. Honestly, I've seriously lost count. But I've also realized that as long as I was really persistent and consistent, Something was going to change, right? Something was going to happen, whether it was me learning from my experiences or doing it right and actually have a win. And even if I don't succeed, I'm always going to learn something from what I had gone through. So friends, I want to really thank you for being a part of this incredible journey. And I can't even express like from the bottom of my heart, how thankful I am for honestly the best three freaking years of my life. And I cannot wait to keep going on this adventure with you and to see what will come next. And You know, things have been different with social media. I've had I've been really revamping it, focusing on really helping you get to where you need to be. Right. So whether it's in our website where we're continuously giving you a ton of free resources to help you figure out what remote jobs are right for you, whether it's giving you our Wednesday emails that will send you online jobs you can apply to or whether it's on Clubhouse and on Instagram where I really share the techniques that has worked for me to take my podcast and make it into an actual profitable business. I just really want to make sure that I'm showing up for you the right way. So If you want anything specific for me, because I obviously want to keep growing with you, I would love, love to hear from you, right? And, you know, as a thank you for being such a huge part of this podcast, I would love to offer the first four people who sends me an email at info at theoffbeatlife.com. Again, that's info, I-N-F-O, at the 
offbeatlife.com a free one-on-one consultation to help you get clarity on how to start working remotely and to live the life you truly want to live. I know what it's like to be super confused, to not understand how to really turn your passion into profit. So I would love to guide you on that. So if you're interested in doing a one-on-one consult with me, again, email me at info at theoffbeatlife.com with the subject line, I want to live an offbeat life. Again, use the subject line, I want to live an offbeat life. Again, the first four people will be getting a private consultation call from me. So before I end this special 200th episode, I just want to read a few reviews and kind words from my listeners that I want to highlight. There's so many of you that have been so kind to me these last three years, and I really want to share your words with our other listeners as well, because this has really brought so much joy to me. And whenever I hear and see those reviews, it just makes me realize that what I'm doing is the right thing and that I am helping you as well. So these reviews not only really help me to decide if what we're doing is the right thing and also just helps me keep going when things are rough or tough, you know? All right, so let's get started. The first one is from The Abundant Traveler, and they say, I love Debbie's podcast. She's a true inspiration for living the life of your dreams through travel and location independence. I love her interview style, and I look forward to each new episode release. Subscribe. (laughs) All right, the next one is from our listener, Mavi 1022 and they say I really enjoy Debbie's interview they're inspirational and offer great business advice getting to work from anywhere seems like a dream but listening to this podcast makes me feel like it's more attainable oh I love that I love when our interviews with these experts really inspire people right to make it seem not so intimidating because it's not. I know in the beginning that seems super, super intimidating, but once you listen to other people's stories on how they've been able to do this, uh, it just makes it so much more real, right? All right, so the next one is from our listener, Ocho Cies, and they say, As someone who recently made the nomadic transition at last, (laughs) it's been great to listen to the stories of others who have done the same. Debbie's guests each have a unique story and many of them will surely relate to whatever type of nomadic transition you're looking to make. Yes, I absolutely agree with Ochos. Yes, the stories that we have They're so unique. Each individual story is absolutely phenomenal. And you can find their stories that will allow you to take that next step. So I love, oh my goodness, I'm, uh, I I know I've read this before, but every time I reread them, it just makes me so happy and so thankful for all of you. All right, the next one is from our listener, Eli Isaac 324. And Eli says, this is such a valuable travel podcast and it's so inspiring. Love Debbie and how contagious her energy is. If you're at all interested in working remotely and traveling or just escaping the regular nine to five, Debbie has got you covered. Oh, thank you so much, Eli. I'm so appreciative of you. You don't know what your words mean to me. The next one is from Story Spectacular. I love that. <laughs> I love that name. And they say, host Debbie Arcangelis's positive energy is contagious. This show is so much more than business talk. It's about the journey to find your happiness, even if it leads you off the beaten path. Yes, absolute freaking 
Lee. We are not just a business podcast, a travel podcast. It's really about uh, giving you realistic advice. And also in the middle of that, you know, is giving you advice that will realistically give you happiness. You know, I know I'm like tongue tied right now, but I am just so excited to share these words with you because this is how I'm feeling. And then to see that from other people as well, it just gives me so much joy and happiness. All right. And last but not least is from our listener NRM2492. And they say, when I was searching for my purpose five years ago, I wish I had access to a podcast like The Offbeat Life with Debbie Arcangelis. It would have made my search so much easier. So if you're someone who is searching or if you already know your purpose, but want to continue to live a more meaningful and purposeful life, check out The Offbeat Life. You will be so grateful that you did. Ah, Oh, okay. <laughs> that is like, it excites me so much because that's exactly what I wanted this show to be. And thank you to the listeners that I highlighted here. Thank you to everyone else who gave us rates and reviews on iTunes. You don't know what those words mean to me and what it has given me the last few years. Your words of encouragement has been one of my biggest driving force with my podcast. And I love, love, love hearing from all of you. So if you have not done so already, I want you to go to iTunes after you listen to this episode and leave us a rate and review and of course subscribe and who knows maybe your review will be read in our episodes as well you know you never know I may decide this is gonna be something that we do more of right so thank you again I also will be really remiss if I didn't end this episode without thanking the people behind the scenes who have been helping me throughout the years. First and foremost, I want to thank my editor, Ben, who has been a godsend. He's been such an incredible person who has helped me make my podcast so much easier for me editing my show. He's absolutely top notch. So Ben, you are amazing. You're listening to this because you edit my show. So I'm so grateful for you. You don't know how much you mean to me. The next person that I really want to say thank you to is my assistant, Mark. Mark, (laughs) you do everything behind the scenes and you are such an incredible person, positive attitude. And without you, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably be driven crazy. You know, you and Ben had been so incredible. The next person I really want to thank are my writers. April, you've been with me for the last like close to two years now writing for our blog, for our website, theoffbeatlife.com. My new writer, Marios, you have been amazing. You're both such great writers. And my girl, Katie, who really handles our Pinterest. Oh, wow. There's so much that I can say. And there's so much gratefulness that I feel for all of my team, because without them, I would not be here today. I would be driven crazy because there's just so much to do. But I'm super, super grateful for all of them. So that's it, friends. Come back next week or you know, come back this week because we have another episode coming up for new amazing stories from incredible individuals who live an offbeat life. Thank you again. Thank you so much for the best three years and the best 200 full episodes a girl can wish for. You are an incredible bunch of amazing individuals who have inspired me and I hope our stories have inspired you as well. Thank you so much, friends, for listening to this very special 200th full episode of the Offbeat Life podcast. 
To get more information and how you can get started working remotely, you can visit theoffbeatlife.com. Again, that's theoffbeatlife.com. Now, if you're interested in starting your own podcast or even taking the current podcast you have from hobby to a profitable business, make sure to visit howtocreatepodcast.com. Again, that's howtocreatepodcast.com. I'll see you there.